There is new information tonight in the investigation of the deadly shooting at Roxborough High School. It comes as the mother of the football player killed pleads for the community to step up and stand up against gun violence. Eyewitness News reporter Carrie Carrado is in Roxborough tonight with the update. Carrie. Yuki, good evening. Sources tell Eyewitness News that they're very close to getting an arrest warrant for a second suspect. Now, this shooting happened two weeks ago, and now the school is getting money for some new security enhancements. We are failing our kids. We are failing ourselves, and we have to do better. Meredith Elizalde spoke from the bottom of her heart and pleaded with Philadelphians as gun violence plagues the city. We're in a state of emergency. We're in a war. Her son Nicholas was shot and killed while leaving a football scrimmage at Roxborough High School two weeks ago. Police say four others were wounded. She says she's experiencing pain she never knew existed. My son is not even the most recent child murdered in this city. I feel the pain of all the mothers. Police are still searching for 16 year old Dayron Bernie Thorne and five shooters who ambushed the teens. Police sources tell CBS they are very close in getting an arrest warrant for a second suspect. In the meantime, a $500,000 appropriation was given to beef up security at the high school in an effort to be more proactive than reactive. I'm just one school. I'm just one school. There are schools across this. City that need the types of enhancements that we are now getting. Local leaders say no one can sit on the sidelines. The crisis of violence in our community requires a total community response. I could not agree with Senator Hughes more. We absolutely cannot afford to lose here. They're urging everyone to rally together. And if we look at it as that's your problem, or that's your problem, or that's your responsibility, that's your responsibility, it's not going to get solved. So some of the money will be used for more cameras and better locks for the building. Now, police are still searching for a motive. The reward is at $45,000. We're live in Roxborough tonight. Carrie Carrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And Carrie